Hi everybody, how are y'all doing? I am cooking and I am making mini boneless pork chops right there. And also cauliflower with some butter. And then if you see the little pan here, that's gonna be for a sunny side up egg, y'all. Oh yeah. That's what it's gonna be for supper tonight. Very low carb. And then just to add a little bit, I have um, cut up a cucumber, not a whole one. It's probably maybe a half of one and thrown in with some um, cherry tomatoes, just a few with um, just a little bit of ranch dressing. And that is gonna be supper tonight. So <clears throat> I'm gonna get to cooking. And on the chops, I put a little bit of butter in the pan. If you see, it's melting now. And that is what I'm going to do for supper tonight. It's simple, quick, and I'll be able to feed everybody. Awesome. So let me get started, and I will get back with you. Okay, you guys. It's starting to cook. Um, instead of using fresh cauliflower tonight, I just used frozen. So that's kind of like my go-to on the cauliflower. And I put a little bit of butter in it, and I'm no cooking oil i'm just i just sprayed my skillet so it wouldn't stick and i seasoned it with a little bit of salt pepper and um and that's good to go the chops if you can see it's starting to cook and i season them with a little bit of salt pepper and garlic powder and then it is all you know i'm gonna get them brown to where you know they're not burnt but they've got that that golden touch to it on the other side <clears throat> and then I'm going to fry an egg sunny side up but I'm not going to use oil I just sprayed that little pan that I just showed you guys I just sprayed it with cooking spray so that it won't stick that way it's not no you know and most of the time my cooking oil I've changed to either olive oil or coconut oil so, unless the recipe specifically requires for vegetable oil or canola oil, I try not to use any of that. Mainly just olive oil and coconut oil. Um, and even down to my cooking spray, I have changed that to coconut oil and olive oil. So, you pay a little bit more even in the generic brand, but with being on the low-carb diet, it's kind of like a, what, what helps with everything. So, that being said, I can't wait to show you guys later when I start prepping what I'm doing for supper tomorrow, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I've done it before, and I just never videoed it. So, um, so when I do it, it's going to be good. Um, it already has been a hit. And normally, when I cook um, pork chops like this, most of the time, um, always, I would cook it with brown gravy or white gravy or, or a creamy mushroom gravy and with either potatoes or, or rice. But because I am cooking a low-carb meal and we've been changing and eating low-carb, I've, I've had to change it up some. So that being said, I don't accommodate for everybody in the in the household it's one of those if i'm cooking then this is what i'm making and it actually works better because it's helping them become uh, eating healthier too and normally by the time everybody gets home from work everybody's starving so that being said that's what i'm doing tonight now if i want um you know to dip my meat into you know like a ketchup or anything like that. I don't use ketchup because I haven't bought the sugar-free. I'm kind of scared of the sugar-free ketchup that there will be a, hmm, one of those. But I will use a little bit of mustard if if need be. Sometimes I don't have to do that. Um, and, and I'll, you know, and I'll do that. Um, I haven't really checked to see how the carbs are on mustard. I need to check that out. I know the calories are good on it. But I've never checked the carbs. Hmm. That's something to check out, you guys. Ha, 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 ha. But 
That being said, and if you listen, it's a sizzling. So that means it's a cooking. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, be back in a short. Okay, I just wanted to show you it's a cooking. And that is what I'm going for right there. That is how we like our meat, where it's just, it's got that nice caramelization to it, to say. And then our cauliflower is coming along just nicely. And that is, um, everything's almost done. So that way, supper will be ready for when everybody gets home. And they can just grab on one plate and go and eat. So. You guys, the cauliflower is done. Some of it's a little, you know, just a little burnt caramelized. Sorry about the camera. But that's how we like it. And there's not, you know, nothing fatty or anything on it. Just a little bit of seasoning. Go ahead and put that off the burner. Okay, here we go with the little pan, you guys. Oh, yes. Checking. Okay. And... There it is. Is that not the cutest thing? And then it's just going to cook. And normally I don't have to mess with it. It just cooks it because it's such a small, it's specifically, see the little egg on it? It's specifically just to fry an egg up. So without all the other added mess to it. Okay, let me give it a second, and I'll be right back. Okay, and there it goes. The pan was cold, it just had to warm up. And that's... Let me just kind of move it around so it'll cook. So this one here, I really don't need no utensils for, but hey. And it's just moving it around. And it'll be done shortly, and then I will show you guys the plate after I get it all dressed up. And I did check the mustard has no carbs in it, y'all, so I'm good to go on mustard. Okay, be back shortly. Okay, you guys, that is the finished plate. So I put my egg on top of my little pork chops. And I garnished my cauliflower with a little bit of cheddar, shredded cheese. And then I will have a little bit of cucumbers and tomatoes to go along with my supper. So, until next time, happy cooking, healthy eating, and just a simple life. Thank y'all. Bye and God bless.